Hi Christine, it's Tuesday, November 15th, 2011, and I have a little surprise, and that surprise is eyesight. Check it out. I got new eyes. See how pretty they are? It's got blue on the side. They're very nice. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, so they're a little different from my other ones because these ones have a very thick... This thing. I don't know what this thing I should call. This one's kind of thin. And they're cool. They also gave me this really big cleaning cloth. Oh, logos, sorry. Really big cleaning cloth. It's like as big as my face. And a glasses case. But I don't like this as much as the pink one, so... Let's just plain. It's boring. Meh. <clears throat> Moving on. Oh no. Oh no. Right in front of me. I have new glasses, but I still can't find things. <sighs> I have my little notebook here. What was I going to talk about? Okay, so first of all, I think I should mention that um, Dad's watching Harry Potter port, Part 2. Port 2? Part 2, and I think he's watching the special effects now. So if you hear random Harry Potter music, that's why. Okay, moving on. Okay, so in my literature through drama class, which is basically my speech class, my glasses are lopsided. They're lopsided? Already? Okay. <laughs> speech class, um, we're doing these presentations because we did, we're doing a movie analysis unit and we watched Forrest Gump and then we had to pretend we were like a special effects person or a hairstylist or a gaffer and you know take one of those movie producer kind of roles and say what their job is in like three different scenes you know so I did that and now we're doing a project where um, we have a, ti a time period and we have to um, make a PowerPoint about how, what things we need in our fake movie. Sorry, I just ate some. I ate really fast, so I'm burping. Um, you didn't need to know that. Oh, uh, what things we would need to make the movie authentic. Like, um, like, so f for Forrest Gump, they needed, like, the hairstyles that they wore in the different time periods of that movie and that kind of thing. So, um, and we have to do all of, like, the hair, the clothes, the entertainment, the advertisements, all of the stuff that was in that time period. And I have 1920s New York, and I know that you love the 20s, so I was just thinking if you had any insight, um, feel free to share some with me. And I was hoping that when you came home for Thanksgiving, um, we could film us swing dancing so that I could put that in my PowerPoint. It'll be great! Yeah. So yeah, I, uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess I'm gonna sign off now. So one last look at my nice new glasses. Um, yeah, don't forget to be awesome. See you on Thursday.